what are you feeling right now? Exhausted. I'm feeling exhausted. As a third grade teacher in Seattle, Derek Grandboys says he's always on, sometimes working 15 hour days. He says the burnout is real. I'm saddened that we haven't had um, a big conversation from the district about, okay, teachers, how is it going? What needs to change? Grand Boys says he and other teachers are also parents navigating their children's education while adjusting to the demands of a pandemic. A recent National Education Association survey found that 28% of educators say the pandemic has made them more likely to retire early or leave the profession. It's been really, really tiring and, and some days, you know, some days it's fine. Some days I can just I kind of push through, but uh, a lot of times it's, uh, I don't know how long much longer. Coinciding with the push for more diversity in education, 43% of black teachers say they're looking to retire or get out. I truly think that we are in uh, a crisis place right now, and it simply is not sustainable. Evan Shin, a literacy coach in Seattle, says he looks on from his virtual classroom as teachers try to cope with the ballooning pressures. He's hoping districts begin to address what's going on. I think we need a lot more um, understanding from families that teachers are really trying to do their best, just like parents and families are also trying to do their best as well. Um, I think that we need um, administrators to um, ask more questions about the mental health of their staff members. What needs to happen in order for things to change course, for teachers to be able to breathe a little bit? We have to stop pretending that uh, this is regular school. Um, we have to stop pretending like that I can do everything that I did in class, I can do online. We, we, we have to stop pretending that that's actually a thing. Britt Moore, King 5 News. Other news tonight, the governor is meeting with the Department of Health and educators about how to get kids back into physical classrooms. His office told us that could include lowering the metrics for when the state says it's safe to go back. Right now, the infection rate needs to be fewer than 75 cases per 100,000 people. In Snohomish County, for example, the case rate is nearly four times that. But the governor's office says there is evidence wearing masks, physical distancing, and screening for symptoms is working to get kids back to school in other parts of the country.